Deftones is not golf. You might know golf for its corpse-like makeup and ghostly dances, but it is actually a music-based subculture. It all started when Screaming Jay Hawkins re-recorded I Put a Spell on You, turning a serious bluesy song you want me? Yes, yours right now. into a witchy, cannibalistic, and dramatic song, along with his performances like Rising Up from a Coffin. <laughs> He's the definition of shock value that would influence many alternative musicians like Alfred Brown, Melon Manson, and Alice Cooper. Onto the psychedelic rock era, The Doors, The End, Jim Morrison, Aww. which talks about his breakup and death. This is the end. Head with drowning like instruments and Jim Morrison's raw vocals creating a haunting yet comforting song. They were labeled as Gothic Rock by John Stickney, making them the first Joy Division. A year later, Nickelbo left the Feather Underground and debuted the Marble Index, the Out of Tune Harmonium. Sorrow fell in. Evening's dancing down the sea. And her ghostly vocals. Symbols vanish from my senses, dim and stale the view appear. It was her goth awakening, as she would also dye her hair blood red and dress all black, making her the first Susie Zeus. Nico also played with Bauhaus, but she was so euphoric that Peter Murphy had to hold her up. He also said she was Mary Shelley Gothic to everyone else's hammer horror film Gothic. <laughs> Post-punk Emerged from punk as a protest of shouting, parkour strumming cliché, being avant-garde and abrasive with other music genres. After Sex Pistol broke up, John Lennon would form Public Image Limited, claiming to be anti-rock and anti-music. The Mailbox album was the peak of experimentation, even packing the records on the metal tin, making it hard to get out and even scratching it too. Yeah, that adds more spice to my music too, don't worry. <laughs> Along with other bands like Wire, <laughs> Gang of Four, <laughs> Magazine, <laughs> Battle Sides The Fall Name a few helped pioneer the genre But then Joy Division brought the dark, pessimistic sound With Ian Curtis half asleep singing That was compared to Jim Morrison But no one can replace you Jim That started the path of gothic post-punk And with cold steel odor on their bodies made a move to Later, Bauhaus rose from their coffins and debuted Bella Lugosi's Dead, the spine-chilling guitar works of Daniel Ash, <laughs> and ironic lyrics about Bella Lugosi was what really started goth rock. Making the Cure and Susie and the Banshees darken their sound, along with other acts like The Birthday Party, and the bat seats and why are all the men there we been killing jokes and the dam laying the groundwork for future bands other bands include specimen alien sex friend Virgin Prunes Permanent Paralysis Etc. Death Rock Two goth for punks, two punk for goth Influenced by Rockabilly's guitar works, glam rock's imagery, rawness from punk, and sims and gloominess from goth The term was used to describe theoretical rock and roll songs like Jody Reynolds and Asleep That's why her footsteps ran into the sea 
That's right. And J. Frank Wilson's Last Kiss. She's gone, even though I hold her tight, I lost my love, my life. Fast forward to the west coast of US in the 80s, punk wasn't a big thing, let alone golf post-punk. Dana Canso from 45 Grave, a pioneer as well. <laughs> Once said, there were no goths, the death rockers were splitted off from the punk slash hardcore scene that was going on at the time. We played punk rock, but we loved Halloween and we looked like vampires. At the same time, the fat ass theater of ice and Arizona's mighty Spicta would also use aspects of drag mixed with the fascination of monster movies and characters. Christian Death would polish the sound and re redefine the genre, bringing it to the Europe in 1983 to 1984 by touring. Other bands include TSOL, Super Heroines. Community FK. Fudu Church etc. It had a revival in the 2000s with bands like Bad Boner Bloody Dead and Sexy Scarlet Remains Tragic Black if you want to know more about alternative music, make sure to like and subscribe. It's a huge support for me to continue making these types of videos. Now back to golf music. Golf rock. The evolution of dark post punk. Heavy on bass, slower drumming, reverb guitars, and vocals that goes like, I'm not golf. Stop saying I'm golf. So back to gothic post punk. Bauhaus, Echo and the Bunny Man, The Cult, and many more were performing on top of the pops. Eight. More people start going to the back cave, the goffness is spreading wider. But it wasn't until Susie and the Banshees, Juju, secures chronography. And Sisters of Mercy's first and last and always. The goth rock we know today, along with other bands like Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry, Fields of the Nephilim, Play Dead, Flash for Ludo. In the 90s, we got London After Midnight, Two Witches, Children on Stun, Witching Hour, but later on, alternative music started adopting goth elements as well, like Nine Inch Nails and Rob Zombie. Gothic metal became a thing with bands like Typo Negative, Sins of DB Love. And Cradle of Phil, a black male band as well. The revival era during 2000s to 2010s include The Cemetery Girls, Diva Destruction, She Passed Away. Angels of Liberty Which is also the birth of more golf that roams around Hot Topic while listening to Evanescence and him 
Dark Wave, aka New Wave and Goth Rock's Child, taking Goth's dark and melancholic sounds and fuses it with synth pop and electronic elements, often described as romantic and dark with undertones of sorrow, or just dark in New Wave. During the 80s, the term was used to describe synth based New Wave sounds like Gary Newman, The Camelons, Anna Clark, etc. Until Soft Cell Looking to procure a little doggy lure a disco dolly Depeche Mode Words are very unnecessary Time for Deutschland And Clown Seymour Included lower focal pitches, slower tempo, and minor keys into its new wave and post punk scene, making them stood out and gained a noticeable fan base known as Dark Wavers. As the drama grew, it birthed other subgenres as well, like Cold Wave, aka French Cold Wave, like Claire Obscure. <laughs> Ethereal Wave, like Faith in the Seas. <laughs> Minimal Wave, like The Bannon Hanover. Classical dark wave like that can dance. Silently alone, Other bands include In the Nursery, Wolf Shine, Unlimited Systems. New Wave and Post Punk Decline was quickly replaced by the underground dark wave scene with bands like Girls on the Glass, Die with Dreams from Germany, Adorexia, and The Frozen Autumn from Italy. Hard Postility from French To name a few At the same time, many German artists like Das Eek Curtis Urban Relatives Mensch Sein And Endrom Formed a new style called Neue Deutsch Tedeskunst, literally New German Deaf Art, by including German poetics into their lyrics, creating a more theoretical style. Both genres were also replaced by dark wave in the mid 80s US underground scene. The genre became a hybrid of synth pop, dream pop, and goth rock, being far more ethereal, summer sounding than industrial dance, another offshoot of goth music. In late 1993, it was associated with Project's record label, formed by Sam Rosenthal after drawing inspirations from German music magazines like Cello. He was intrigued with the dark poetic and obscure sound of Dark Wave, saying that it was something underground, submerged, obscure, which swept over, immersed, and surrounded you, a poetic phrase that could describe many different sounds, which later became his mail order company name. Project featured bands like Lysha. Tape for a blue girl. Love spirals downwards. Attrition. And switchblade symphony. The star took cues from 80s bands like the Kaku Twins, known as Ethereal Dark Wave. Another important record label was Test Records, featured This Ascension, Faith and the Muse, and Reunited Clan of Cymox. Other bands include Fox Low, Whispering Sun, Sarah. And Mocha Doma. Mocha Doma is the brand. Mocha Doma is the man of smart people. The people of Mocha Doma, they are very smart. I love Mocha Doma Belarus. <laughs> Till 
So that's the tip of the iceberg of goth music. Comment down below if you want me to talk about neoclassical dark wave, minimal wave, ethereal wave, and many more. Thank you so much for staying till this far. Very proud of you and your attention span. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it motivates and supports me to dive deeper into different music genres and continue making more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.